morning guys what's up welcome back to my channel today is monday and it's currently 9 45 a.m at 10 30 i have an eye appointment and i'm basically just going to get a contact lens fitting i don't need like a full-blown eye exam just the contact lens fitting because my contacts have been driving me crazy so i made an appointment so i can get like a new brand of contact lenses hopefully that's not going to dry my eyes out just got to my eye appointment but i'm a little bit early so i ran into starbucks to grab an iced caramel macchiato and i got a venti and i am so freaking excited i never get a venti but i use like a free reward and i just got it with three pumps of vanilla instead of five so i'm back home now i had my contact lens fitting and i have new contacts in right now this is a whole different brand and these are two-week lenses instead of the monthly lenses so she said this should help a lot but whenever she had like the scope looking into my eye she said my eyes looked visibly drier so it's not just me i guess they are pretty dry she said these contact lenses will be a lot better for me way back in the day i used to use the dailies and they are amazing but they are so expensive so if i can avoid paying for daily contact lenses i would rather not have to pay for those so i'm gonna see how these ones go and hopefully they work out for me i'm about to open up this closet behind me and start cleaning it out basically doing a huge closet clean out because this closet has basically become the place where i throw everything that i don't know what to do with so it has desperately needed to get cleaned out for a long time and I'm now finally getting to it so lots of stuff going in the trash and then there's gonna be a lot of stuff to donate and maybe try to sell to Plato's closet because I have just accumulated so much this year okay we're about to get started whatever you do just don't judge me because I know that this is gonna look really really bad but it's reality So here is the update. I just have like some boxes and stuff up there, wrapping paper. This container is full of like gift boxes, bows, tissue paper, and bags. Just stuff that I like to reuse whenever I give people gifts. The bin down there has some blankets in case we have a guest come to sleep over. And then this three-tiered thing doesn't really have a whole lot in it. Just some stuff that I did not know what to do with. I folded up my whiteboard for the time being, even though I'll probably be pulling this out literally next week when I start classes again. But yeah, I just freed up a bunch of space in here. So now I'm going to take a bunch of the clothes from my main closet in our bedroom and bring them over here just things that I'm not wearing right now and just kind of store them in here we are currently heading to Target I told you guys yesterday that we had to go to Target today and we have like a whole list so one of the things I'm looking for is green juices and somebody commented asking if I could show you guys whatever green juices I decide to get so I'll definitely show you I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna get yet I don't think they have a whole lot of options um, hopefully I find something I like we just got finished cleaning our entire house. When I tell you, I mean like, we just decluttered. We filled up like five trash bags of trash and then three trash bags. And these are like the industrial size ones, the black ones, <laughs> um, full of stuff for Goodwill as well. So later today, we need to take all that to Goodwill. And then I still haven't gone through my clothes that I want to try to sell to Plato's Closet. Um, but I did go through everything that I just like knew was trash. And goodwill stuff and all that so oh, we just feel so good so now we're gonna go get lunch because it's very well deserved and it's gonna be a later lunch it's almost two so i think we're gonna go to payway is that what you want yeah it sounds really good actually okay so we're gonna get payway for lunch which sounds really really good i was really hoping that i would have a free reward at payway but i don't so i guess we're paying full price at payway and we just ordered and it said that i had no rewards and then while we were checking out she said that i had a free entree so we just paid nine dollars for both of our lunches so we're super happy about that got some fortune cookies and i just got the kung pao with chicken and noodles instead of rice and then i get it extra spicy i'll show you guys when it comes out just got our food it looks really really good and then chad got his with rice and veggies 
Chad just ran into Petco really quick to get dog food, but I wanted to give you guys an update on my Rebecca Minkoff bag that Chad got me for Christmas. I told you guys in that vlog that I was like not sure if I liked it or not because of the rose gold color, and I am literally in love with this bag now. Once I actually took it out of the box and put my stuff in it and started wearing it, I realized how much I love it, and the colors like are so unique, so even though I was kind of expecting more of like a neutral color, I don't mind it at all because it is unique and not everybody has this bag so here's what it looks like again in case you didn't see that video but it is the prettiest bag ever and I've still been trying to see if Nordstrom or even the Rebecca Minkoff website has it in stock again and no one has it so you can only get it in black right now so I will link the black version of it below because it's honestly a great bag in general like it's the perfect size it's very stylish I just really love it it's a really good everyday bag even just in the black color picking out juices now but I don't want to get multiple green ones if I don't know if I'm gonna like it yet so I thought I would try the Suja brand because they're two for six and these are cold-pressed so I'm gonna get wait which one do I want I'm gonna get the green delight because it's got more fruit in it so it sounds a little bit more I don't know good for like if you're just starting out and then I'm gonna try this one because this is also cold-pressed with carrot and orange also need to grab some of my makeup wipes and I'm actually gonna get two of these because I keep one on my vanity and then one in our like bedroom bathroom. Picking out a card for Chad's dad's birthday right now. I don't know why this is here, but this is literally me right now. Any shower curtains? Yes. Oh, see, I kind of like the way this looks. Isn't that pretty? Chad doesn't like style. Oh, what do you think of this? See, they are all on sale. I was looking online. Okay, Chad said he likes this one, so we're gonna go with this. It's really pretty. I think it goes with our house and this is just for our guest bathroom we actually don't have a shower curtain for our main bathroom because it's just glass so we're also picking up a new tablecloth because we took our christmas one down and i was kind of over the floral one that we had in there before so i just found this one it just has like gold stitching and it's like a cream color but we're gonna get this as well i like this found these sheets on clearance i'm not getting them our bed's not even a full but how pretty are these just little christmas trees on them <laughs> Are you looking at the rugs, Chad? Oh. I wish they had a rug on clearance that would go in our living room. I want a new rug in there so bad. I just remembered that I made cheese seed pudding and I forgot to eat it this morning, but it's gonna be ready and I'm gonna try it later today and I'll let you guys know how it turned out. And somebody asked if I could share the recipe. It's literally so easy to make. I just put chia seeds in a cup and then I double the amount of chia seeds I put with coconut milk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and that's it trash bags how exciting i think we get those before the febreze ones yeah you get the glad force ones oh yeah yeah get these that good oh god i Wait, almost dropped it 13 gallon? Yes. Yep. Ding, ding. don't come at me for not using reusable bags it's chad's fault he didn't bring them we're back home and i didn't show you guys but i decided to get this oil-free makeup remover because even though i love the neutrogena makeup wipes I feel like it's really difficult to get eye makeup off, especially when I wear like eyeshadow. So I thought I would try this because I really do not like a bunch of oil around my eyes. When I have contacts in and stuff, it makes my eyes like really blurry. And then I got some of these exfoliating cotton rounds to go with it. And one side is smooth and then the other side's exfoliating. So I can kind of use it to get the eye makeup off. So I got a couple of packages in the mail and I didn't tell you guys, but I ordered a white blanket ladder to go in that corner right there. Cause we always have so many extra throw blankets and I only ever like to have like one just laying on the couch. We used to have a basket that we would keep them in, but I wanted to switch it up. So I ordered a blanket ladder and I'm gonna attempt to put this thing together. I really hope it looks good over there. Guess what time it is, chai time. I already showed you guys how to make my chai latte like a couple of times, so I'm not gonna show you this time, but I've been having one of these like every day. And by the way, I tried the chia seed pudding and I definitely did something wrong. So I basically try to make it from memory and I haven't made this in like almost a year and I definitely left out something or maybe it's because I used unsweetened coconut milk but it's normally sweet and literally tastes like a dessert but it's healthy and this time around it has very little flavor and the consistency is a little bit off so don't try to make it based on what I said earlier in the video. But I'm definitely gonna have to modify it and look up a recipe but whenever I figure that out, I will let you guys know. So I got a package in from Sephora and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. It's pretty much just one item that I'm super excited about that I decided to get for myself because treat yourself and I probably treat myself a little too much, but 
This is something I had been wanting for a really long time and it finally went on sale. Oh, and also before I show you guys this, remember how I was telling you that I had to send an email to Sephora about a package I was waiting on? That was a package that I ordered before this one. Like I literally ordered this before Christmas and I still haven't got it. I went on there and checked and it said that the item was damaged and that it was being returned to the sender. So I assumed, okay, well I'll probably hear from Sephora soon and they will be sending me another one. Well, no, Sephora actually messaged me back. I wanna tell you guys exactly what they said because I was a little bit shocked by the way that this was handled. Sephora needs to stop playing with my emotions because they'll send me an email and I'll say, your package is almost on its way or your package is gonna be delivered soon, get excited. And then my package never shows up. So I don't know what that's about. But I apologize that you haven't received your order based on the carrier's tracking information. It shows that your order was undeliverable. Your package was sent back to the warehouse and a refund was issued. And then it says, if you plan on replacing your order, make sure that your shipping address is correct because we're unable to make changes once the order has been placed. So basically they're making it seem like it was my fault when I literally made another order like a couple days later and I got this one and you guys know that I order things online all the time I've ordered from Sephora plenty of times before I'm a VIB member so they know I spend a lot of money there and it just doesn't make sense to me that they would just refund the money and say that it was undeliverable when I checked the tracking and it actually said that the item was damaged so that was laser ships fault not my fault that it was undeliverable and I'm just frustrated because a couple of things in that order were on sale and they were like holiday sets so they're probably not available anymore for one and for two they're definitely not going to be on sale anymore I got a kit from glow recipe with like their two sleep masks and I got a volcano candle and like a couple of other small things and now I guess I'm not getting it and I was gonna go ahead and just like try to order the items again but two of the things aren't available now and the volcano candle I could order that but I haven't got the refund yet for the first order so I want to make sure that I get refunded before I place the order again so I finally ordered the t3 twirl trio I had been wanting this so bad every single blogger talks about it and everyone says this is like the greatest set of curling irons for curls that actually last and I have such a hard time making my curls last mostly because my hair is so straight as it is and also because I live in Florida and the humidity is so bad so I'm so excited to try this out and I just really hope that it helps my curls last but look at the packaging it's beautiful I'm gonna curl my hair tomorrow and I'll let you guys know how I like this I'll be the true test if it's worth the money or not because this is like normally almost $400 and I got it for like $274 or something like that plus I had a gift card I can't remember if I showed you guys the acrylic monitor stand once it was set up. I know I showed it to you in my Christmas haul, but this is kind of what it looks like and it just raises up my Mac so it's like at a better viewing angle. And then I can always tuck the keyboard and the mouse just like under here and it just creates a lot of extra space on my desk so I love it. Also, in my desk I have the actual mouse but somebody asked me why I don't use the Apple mouse and it's because I hate this thing. I try to use it and it's really not practical. It doesn't feel good in my hand by any means so I bought this pink Microsoft one forever ago and I've used this one ever since and it works way better. My camera battery light is flashing and it's about to die. I have another charger but I feel like this vlog has honestly been so long as it is so I'm going to finish editing and get this uploaded now. So thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve and I'm going to be uploading my 2020 goals and I'm really excited to share this with you guys because it's not resolutions. This is like true goals for 2020 but if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.